Welcome to the OneMesh tutorial video. In this video, we will go through all the functions of OneMesh. Let's get started. After importing the package, you can find OneMesh in the Tools menu. Let's start with this example. The process is very simple. As you can see, before combining, there are multiple skinned meshes. All we need to do is drag and add the character object to one mesh, assign the root bone, change the save path if needed, and then simply hit the Combine Skinned Meshes button. Just like that, everything is combined and we are down to only one skinned mesh. Note that assigning the root bone is optional. One mesh will automatically assign the root bone, but if you need more precise control, you can assign the root bone before combining or assign it to the combined skinned mesh renderer afterward. We can combine all materials on the combined skinned mesh to further optimize it. Simply drag the combined skinned mesh to the one material tool, then combine all materials. The combining process will take longer if you choose a larger texture size. Just like that, all materials are now combined into a single material. All assets are saved so you can easily convert the combined result into a prefab. Next, let's take a look at the combining options we have for multiple characters. I have 25 characters here. Option 1, we can directly add all of them to one mesh. One mesh will automatically combine each one. They are all combined, and now there are only 25 skinned meshes. Option 2, we can directly combine 25 characters into a single skinned mesh. I'll directly add the root object containing the 25 characters into one mesh. This is a more situational method. All combined characters should be low poly, and you should avoid combining too many characters at once. This method is not ideal for complex models. One more issue. There's a chance that characters may not be able to play animations after being combined in this way. To fix this, we just need to make sure to bake the animations for the character before combining. We can use the animation support tool by adding the character to it. The tool will then generate a new set of animations for the character.
Then we will combine this updated character, making sure to select Always Animate. Now we can directly combine these 25 characters. To avoid errors, try not to save everything in the same folder. Now, these 25 characters are using a single skinned mesh. We also need to adjust the baked animations slightly, such as root motions and positions. One mesh can also combine regular meshes. Simply add all the meshes you want to combine to a root object, then drag this object to one mesh and hit the Combine Mesh Renderers button. For the final test, let's combine the skinned meshes of all these different characters. 